Well, you know, banana fungus it is, right? Um, no, I, I find it weird that this is apparently not a good enough of, a, of an apology. Here, let's, let's let's read this, shall we? Because I'm I'm getting old and need to switch glasses. Actually, the, these these glasses aren't uh, aren't any good for that. Let's go to the ones that actually work good that look really really bad. And he says, I sincerely apologize to the LGBT community here. I sincerely apologize to the LGBT community for my insensitive words of my past. I'm sorry that I hurt people. I am evolving and want to continue to do so. My goal is to bring people together, not to tear us apart. Um, seems like a pretty good message and it's also, you know, owning up to, to saying some awful things. But apparently this isn't enough. I don't know when it would be enough. I mean, if this isn't enough, what will be? Really? Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm on my knees. Oh, I'm be on my knees. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. And no one would believe him if he did something like that anyway. He could be crying and people would just think he's overacting. So, you know, what what is he supposed to do? Is he supposed to kiss people's feet? Is he supposed to offer free something or other, some free service to, to, to everyone that, that might have been offended. I, I mean, what is he supposed to do? And now Ellen is being, uh, uh, Ellen, she's being criticized because uh, she supports him saying that he's sorry. You know? What the hell? <sighs> it, it, people somehow have it in their minds that Somehow, that people can't change. Well, if people couldn't change, this this would this world would be a lot worse than it is. You know, people do change. Um, well, actually, if people couldn't change, we we wouldn't even be able to function at all because we'd be acting like babies, literally. You know, um, you have to, to to learn. And if you think people can't learn, it, that's I don't even know what to tell you if, if you really think that um, I mean think about Axl Rose right man in the 80s he was just he, oh my god he was a piece of shit just a homophobic misogynistic pile of garbage that's what Axl Rose was and you can even hear it in his lyrics of the way that he looked at women you know <laughs> um, it, it was pretty blatant. Uh, and then he learned. You know, I'm not going to say he's some wonderful great guy because I haven't seen enough of his interviews and such to really know w what he's like, but um, he certainly doesn't seem to hold the views that he did before. You know, people learn. Um... But now, of course, people don't like his music because, well, whatever. I, I actually thought uh, Chinese Democracy was a halfway decent album. But uh, it, it, I think it was one of those things that people were expecting something way over the top. The, uh, oh, what do you call it? The, uh, the hype around it uh, uh, was, was more than what it delivered. So, um, But yeah, people change. People can realize, hey, this wasn't cool. I mean, shit. Now, see, this this is where I'm, I'm in this video, and, and, and it's going to be inserted in here. I might make a separate video for this as well. You know, I was wrong in in my in my my videos that I that I made about the whole Kavanaugh situation. You know, I wasn't even considering in my head. And it was showing in the way that I argued about things. I wasn't even considering in my head that he could be completely innocent. And that's not really right. There were some things that he that he said and, and arguments that he made that were still pretty questionable, especially the uh, all the abbreviated, the 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 acronyms, and uh, other things that he would claim were something else. Yeah, that's that's kind of that's kind of shitty, but. Uh, I don't know. 
I just I think that I, I there some of the attitude that I had about that was wrong. Um, because even if I mean the thing is even if he had done those things. I mean, I look at the things that I did in my 20s. A lot of things I did in my 20s that I go, wow. Um, I mean, they're, they're not like that. They're, they're, but they were in, I mean, there were some very interesting gay parties that I went to. I'll just say that. Um, and definitely, definitely lots of, uh, not fully consensual groping and things like that. Um, that I probably wouldn't go to now. Um, of course, they, nobody would probably want me there now anyway, so... Um, but... Uh, <clears throat> yeah, if I if I was to not be able to learn uh, from mistakes in my past, I, I, I wouldn't be, well, I certainly wouldn't be here now. I, I would have uh, kept making those mistakes and probably would be dead by now. So, um, and that could probably be interpreted as if it had to do with the, the gay parties. No, it's, it's just a number of other things. Some things that I, I will probably never discuss publicly. Um, just some some patterns that I had that if I if they would have continued would have would have went a very bad way a very bad way. Um, I'm thankful that we learn, and we need to give people uh, we need to accept that people learn. I, I guess I was gonna say we need to give people the benefit of the doubt, but that's not quite the right thing either, because that's like saying, "Oh, we all well, we think they're always going to learn," and that's that's not a good thing to think either. Oh, people will always learn. No, no, that's that's wrong. You know. You can't say never and you can't say always. It's, you know, it's very rare that you can ever use those two words and have it be true. Um, you know, maybe in mathematics or things that are on paper, but generally things in life you can't, you can't do an always or never. Anyway, uh, I guess I'm rambling like I, like I usually have been lately, so... <laughs>